I just adore Castles of Burgundy, but I so wish there is a great insert for it just to help me uh, set up game faster and uh, put it back in a box faster. Now, is this one doing that? Let's see. What's up everybody, welcome to the life of a board gamer. My name is Daniel and you already heard everything from the intro. Does this insert do good to me for the game that I really, really love? Let's get down to the table, let me show you how it looks, how it works, and then we'll talk some more about it. Okay, so let's check out the insert. First of all, we will remove the rules because we are not here to talk about the rules, but about the insert. So all the player boards are stacked up here. And as you can see, parts of the insert really hold them really nicely in place. And that is something that I really like. Then you have the board itself. There's also these helping boards that will help you out to understand which building does what. Each player will get one of these. So over here, we have these uh, trade route tiles. So we keep these in here. Shield box to keep all the shields. As you can see, everything closed really nicely and opens up super easily. We have this cool dispenser thing that you, you can just take the tokens out, these trade goods. As you can see, you can take them out here and you can just take this up and put them back inside once you are done with the game. Now I'm not doing that really nicely, but you will do it nicely. And you just cover it up and it's ready for us for the second play. So we have bonus box, so you can keep all these bonuses in here that you can win throughout the game. What else? What else we have? We have player box, so each player, everything is stored in here, so each player will take one of these. I also keep the white dice in here. And yeah, uh, then we have the coin and worker box, so you can just take off the lid, put it inside the table, and you are ready to play, put in everyone's reach. And then there is this extra box, which I really like. You can put a pen in here or something to score the points at the end of the game because, oh no, you don't need to because there are points on around the board. But yeah, you can keep extra stuff. Who knows what, with, with what kind of expansion will they come up? So some of the trade good tiles I keep in here and you must be asking yourself why. Well, uh, after we finish the game, I'll just shuffle all the tiles together and I will just put some of them in here. And that is basically, how I will start the game much, much sooner because now I can just take these off and put them on the board. Let me just quickly show you how, what I'm talking about. So, as you know, you have to ha have goods here and you can just do this and you are ready to play. You have goods set up. At the end of the game, when you're putting everything in a box, you just take randomly five for each of these compartments, stick them in here and you are ready to play the next game once you want to play the game. And the, the most beautiful thing is uh, how these hexes are stored. That's why I saved it for last. I really like how it works. So as you can see, everything is really nicely stored by colors and everything. There are some even extra dividers. These are removable, so you can remove them. You can divide maybe expansions in uh, different uh, compartments. If you don't want to play with some expansions, I like to play with everything as always. And yeah, uh, the, also the great thing is uh, pulling them out is really easy. As you can see, you can just take them out and storing them is also super easy. You can just put them in like so and they're ready to play. And why is that is, that is, I will show you in a second. Let me just take a few of these out so I can remove them and show you what I'm talking about. So these are let me just zoom in a little bit so you can see it better so these things are here in here are specially designed just for this insert these are 3d printed uh, like layouts or whatever you however you want to call them and basically what they do they hold all these tokens in this position so they don't slide so if you just put them like so as you can see there's okay if I, if I turn them they will fall but they are standing here they will not slide or anything as you can see they stop you cannot slide them and so it's super easy to put them back inside, as you can see, 
and they will not go anywhere they will not slide and that is just something really awesome and of course everything is color coded so over here is blue because blue tokens go here gray tokens uh, black tokens or this uh, yeah black tokens go here yellow here green so yeah and that is uh, that that's how the insert for castles of burgundy looks okay so that was castles of burgundy insert from in my box and uh, as you can see to answer your question yes i really love this insert this insert is everything that i wanted it to be for my game so there is fast setup included the tokens everything is sorted really nicely in here i don't have to have like gazillion baggies now all those plastic ziploc baggies to take out all the tokens all the cheats and everything i just put part of the insert aside from the main board pop the lid open and i'm ready to play there is something really phenomenal also great thing is if you have first edition castles of burgundy because there are some people that still prefer first edition due to the artwork and all that so if you have the first edition you can also store the first edition in here but you will have to take out few parts of the insert out because of the player board that are a little bit uh, bigger so they will not fit or you don't have to take them out but if you store everything inside the lid will be a little bit raised from the box so it is how it is but yeah this one can hold in first or second edition it's really but it's really made for a second edition if you ask me and yeah that is that thank you for watching thank you for spending time with me and until next time Pozdrav. you know i really like terra terraforming mars <laughs> not terraforming mars i just filmed terraforming mars video that's why i said it and uh, it is made basically firstly and first firstly for first, first, first maybe want to purchase a first edition or something like that and that is all sounding so stupid.